Hi, I'm Dr. Jordan Halsey, a pediatric plastic surgeon at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. I would like to discuss breast reduction surgery, who the best candidates are for the procedure, what the procedure itself entails, and typical recovery and outcomes. Our pediatric plastic surgeons oftentimes evaluate and treat young women with macromastia, which means large breasts. This is a common problem in young women that occurs during development and can lead to debilitating neck, shoulder, and upper back pain, which affects daily activities and the ability to play sports. Bra straps can cause shoulder notching due to the weight of the breasts and patients usually have difficulty finding clothes and bras that fit correctly. Some patients have to purchase specialty bras or wear more than one sports bra for support. Women can also develop rashes underneath their breasts and require medical treatments and creams. Patients often use Tylenol or Advil to help treat pain related to their breast size, as well as seek help with physical therapy and chiropractic therapy. If these conservative measures do not alleviate their symptoms, these patients may be best managed with surgical breast reduction and should be seen by one of our JHACH plastic surgeons. At your appointment, we will discuss surgery and take breast measurements and photographs for surgical planning. We typically delay surgical intervention until the patient's breast growth has plateaued and their weight has remained stable for six months. The surgery is usually a same day surgery, which takes about three to four hours. At the end of the procedure, the incisions are covered with surgical glue and a soft bra is placed. We follow up with our patients two weeks after surgery to check on how their incisions are healing. And then there are six weeks of physical restrictions after surgery that includes no sports, no swimming, and no tight or underwire bras. Once the incisions are healed, you can expect scars that resemble an anchor, one around the nipple, one going vertically in length straight down to the inframammary fold, and then one that travels within the inframammary fold, which is well hidden in a bra. We also reduce your nipple and areolar complex in size during the procedure. Breast reduction surgery is the plastic surgery procedure with the highest patient satisfaction. We look forward to treating any patients that may be a candidate for this procedure in order to improve their overall health and well-being.